I don't know how great the lighting is. But hopefully it's not too bad. Why did I say like <laughs> Hi, my name is Bethan Ludley, aka Ludley, aka formerly known as Musical Bethan. Hello! I turned 23 a month ago, which we all know what that means! It's time for me to react to my replying to... No. No. What is the court video called? I always say like, this video is called replying to my 21 year old me. What was the video that... Dear 23 year old me. So I'm replying to dear 23 year old me. If you don't know what the hell this is. Basically when I was 16 I made a video called dear 18 year old me. And when I was 18 I replied to that video. And then I made a video to my 21 year old self. And then 21 year old me replied to that video. And then I made a video to my 23 year old self. Me. Um... And yeah, I'm going to react to that now. Um, basically, I tend to ask myself questions and set myself goals, and I know for a fact this year I have completely not done it. Every year I would do an amazing job at it, and I would like go way beyond it, but that's because I set myself small goals. And being quite insanely depressed when I made that video, <laughs> I decided to set myself massive goals and be like, yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Um, I didn't. But I'm gonna try and justify why these things didn't happen whilst I make the video. And also, sorry if my makeup is terrible, I literally have worn it all day. So I guess here we go. It's gonna be a long video. Grab some popcorn and let's hit it. Do I have headphones? Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to move. I set up this shot so nicely. Christ. Focus on me. Please. Do it. <laughs> Come on. I did it. Nice. Okay. <sighs> right. So this is Dear 23 Year Old Me. Hey guys! How's it cracker lacking? So if you guys didn't know, I've got a little series going on on this channel. When I turned 21, I replied to that video. If you want to find either of those videos, there will be a link hair. at the end of this video, so or there will now. be links in the description. But now I'm going to do a video from my 21 year old me to my 23 year old me. I was thinking about doing a video to my 25 year old self instead of my 23 year old self, but I have no idea what the future of YouTube holds for me. Oh, she so, knew. I figured she I would knew. do one a bit sooner. <laughs> the goals slash questions I have set for myself are pretty high, but I went above and beyond between 18 and 21 in regards to my goals, so hopefully it'll go even better this time around. Yay! We'll see how it goes. So hey, 23 year old Bethan, I feel like these next two years are going to pass very quickly, I have been told. They did. The kind of goal like thing is to sign a label or do something significant musically independently. If you can make yeah. it out there independently, amazing, but if not signing to a label of some kind is probably a good direction to go if you can. You are releasing your third EP type thing in mid-2017, which is really, really exciting. Yeah. It doesn't have a title yet, and you only have three songs set in stone, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so here's what happened. So this was filmed at the end of 2016. My birthday is in December. At the beginning of 2017, I decided that I was not only one going to change genre, I was going to change name. So I changed my name from Beth and Ludley to Ledley. Reason being is because I wanted to kind of mark a new chapter and also because I was making a completely different genre of music. For me at the time it just made sense to start with a new name. You know, I hadn't done it anything massively crazy with Beth and Ledley at the time, so why not just like, you know, start with a new name. Um, and I decided to make it Ledley because there was already a band called Bethan out there and so I thought, hey, Ledley, um, you know, it's not Bethan, but it's still my name. And it's kind of badass. I still haven't actually asked any of my family whether they're okay with it, so. Then in summer, I released a single, Old View. There was a little music video. I had like a Vivo channel. Now I have an artist channel that won't even post my new EP. If anyone from YouTube artist channel is listening, could you please put my EP that's been out for the last two months on my YouTube channel, like my old EPs. I was really unhappy with my music team because they weren't making me feel very good about myself and nothing was happening and it just made sense for them to go and then, so as of February 2018, I was doing everything by myself, decided to make an EP like I did. The first single of that EP got a million streams. At the moment, I'm just doing a lot of writing and I'm very excited about doing a lot more writing and just writing a lot. 
<laughs> until something happens. Who knows? Second goal is to sell out a show to 500 people. You went on your first ever headline tour at the beginning of 2015, and I think London sold out at 250 with guest list. So that's pretty good. That is a lot of people, and I feel like probably cry. Dudley. Okay, so again, because I changed my name, I didn't want to play Beth and Ledley music with Ledley music, and so therefore I needed to have enough songs in order to put on a show. Now that I've released the EP and I've started writing new music, I'm getting to a place now where I'm actually doing shows, and um, I'm starting out at like kind of, I guess, I don't know, like practice shows that are like 150 people, like trying to do like free, not quite open mics, but kind of on that spectrum, um, just to get a lot better at performing because I haven't done a massive amount of it, especially like the pop running around on stage kind of um, performance stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. Eventually I want to get to a place where I do a show. Um, I did um, go uh, support the Midnight Beast on their tour and that was lovely back in September. Um, I'm excited to get a lot better because I'm, I could be way better at performing, so yeah. Thirdly is visit Japan and South Korea. I feel like you're <laughs> probably going to do that this year anyway. You have been talking about it for way too long. It's time to get into action and go to Japan and South Korea. I haven't done that. It's a very expensive trip. It's still my ultimate goal. I will go on that trip before I die. I want to go on it in the next two years, so I think I'm going to set that as my goal for next year. Elia really also wants to go. It's just my dream trip. I love Korea and I've always wanted to visit Japan so. This one is tour Europe. I feel like that is easily done if you can get on a support no. tour of some kind. No. You haven't been to a lot of places in Europe. You need to go visit Europe. You are yeah. in your prime. And again that plays into the whole thing of just like I was working on making music so I could go out and perform that music. Um, as Ledley rather than as Beth and Ledley, so. Stop chewing the insides of your mouth and around your nails. If you guys no. didn't know, I've kind of got really a thing. That up. It might be dermatophagia because that is a thing that mm. explains what I do. I basically mm. bite the skin around my nails and inside of my mouth and it's mm. not attractive walking around going like, mm. Mm -mm -mm. and it's something you need to hurry up and grow out of because it has been your entire life. You are, you're an adult now. This has actually gotten worse. <laughs> So I'm doing real good with that. I have been doing it for as long as I can remember. It's getting, it's especially when I'm like stressed out or nervous about something, I will go to town or even bored. I'm honestly like, and it's getting so bad. I'm gonna be honest. I think I've already probably caused myself like, I already like smile with about six like smile lines. So I'm probably already done damage to my mouth and my fingers. If anybody knows how I can fix this, like how I can just stop myself from doing it, please let me know. It's getting really annoying now and I don't want to have 60 million wrinkles around my face before I'm 30 because <laughs> I think it's going to happen. Ugh. Present or go on a big show. I am really thrilled about how far we have come. You present two shows and four music at the moment. You've been interviewed on the BBC, you've been interviewed on MTV. I feel um, like if you can make even more of a milestone in the presenting thing, that would be incredible. I was doing two shows, now I do one show. I think it's kind of hard to get work as a presenter because the opportunities are actually getting smaller, not bigger, because obviously TV is like not as popular generally as it used to be because of the internet. Always looking out for stuff. Anyone want to give me a job? Let me know. Do some radio presenting. I think even if you start off small, just like gaining your confidence, you know, getting better at talking under pressure would be really, really good for you. How you take steps into further career like adult things. I did do some like screen tests, radio screen tests. I think went quite well, but I didn't get the job. So... <laughs> Become stronger and do pole dancing. I really, really hope you've carried on pole dancing. You've nope. been a little sloppy these last <laughs> like, couple no, of months no, 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 because no. obviously work gets in the way, la la la. If you have a pole in your house, please just do it. Just get a bit stronger. You could be a little bit more elegant, a little bit more graceful. It would be interesting to see what pole moves you can do now and how you have like integrated that into your life. I actually had to quit pole. Even though I was really, really enjoying it and I loved it so, so much, it just wasn't working out with my schedule. It's not really for somebody that has a freelance schedule because I don't know what days and nights I'm working. Like you had to like sign a contract. Sometimes if you like miss the day you could go to a class later in that week, but if you didn't go to a class once a week, 
you couldn't like move that class over to the next week even if you had a holiday or a thing in advance and it was just costing me a lot of money and I wasn't able to get to the sessions so I had to stop and it's not really safe to teach yourself it's good to have someone to like spot you or and, like tell you to do it properly or you can actually injure yourself quite a lot so it's something that I do want to do um, but there's only like one class where I live so maybe one day if I move to London or a different area that might there might be more options for me to do that. Move back to London. In the next two years, I really hope you have moved back to London because you do really love it there, but also you really, really love this home. If it yes. isn't the right time, I will not judge you, but I'm kind of hoping at this point, you are so busy in London, you had to move back. Like that's, that's the hope. <laughs> but if not, I really, really hope you're happy where you are and where you live and all of those things. But even if you have stayed here, I don't blame you. I've nearly been in this house a year now and I'm absolutely in love with it. The next question, I so now I'm doing music full time. I am really busy and I'm always in London a lot, but I'm actually broke because I'm not doing as much like YouTube influencer stuff and most of my money was coming from advertising. Um, and because I'm not doing that as much, <laughs> yeah, I can't afford to live in London. So I'm a, I am busy all the time in London, but I can't afford to live there. So I travel a lot back and forth, but then my boyfriend also lives in London, so I stay with him a lot. The next question I've got for you, which is not a and end all, I was just curious, have you found love? I and did! And the type of guys you're going for still the same? I'm just generally curious because you have had a pretty rubbish 2016 in regards to dating and at this point <laughs> you said to yourself you've kind of given up. If not, I hope you're madly independent and happy. Like, if you're not in a thing that you're happy in already, it just doesn't matter. Like, if you chill, everything's fine. I did find somebody. I actually found the most perfect boy in the world in my opinion but he's so great we were best friends for a very long time and it was kind of that territory of like will they won't they um and i just didn't think it was gonna happen um i think i held out hope and then um in february we ended up making it official and it'll be our two-year anniversary next month I did, it. I did a thing <laughs> he is the best thing that ever happened to me flat out. Find the right balance between healthy eating and exercise. I really hope you found that. At the moment, Christmas has rolled around, so obviously I haven't been to the gym in about a month and a half because I do this every year. You are already back on track with your healthy eating and it's not even New Year's Eve yet and I'm sure you will start exercising and turning up a little bit again soon. I hope eventually it just naturally becomes a part of your life and you don't even think about it. Love your body either way. You've had some problems. You need to chill out. I stopped exercising. But honestly, it's because I am really struggling to figure out what the balance is between exercising and um, eating healthy. I went for a thing where I was eating too little and exercising too much. And I think my body went into starvation mode and started gaining weight. And again, this is just a theory from um, a personal trainer friend that I had. So I don't know if that's actually true, but it kind of made me terrified to do both at the same time. Uh, but my diet has been pretty good. Like I'm not, um, you know, like I'm not one of those people that eats like chicken, plain chicken and like broccoli, but I eat a lot of vegetables. I don't know, I like it. I like it. Um, and it really works for me because, yeah, I don't exercise. This personal trainer that I had before, he mostly works with middle-aged women and up. And I think his diet was like, I don't know, like not taking into consideration that I was 20, 30 years younger. And as you get older, your body behaves differently. And yeah, I just don't think like I was eating enough for my metabolism, plus the amount of exercise I was doing. And it was super messed up. So don't trust every personal trainer out there like do your research because geez louise I'm sure where i interview artists about actual music something i have really found interesting is how little there is of shows that are actually asking artists about their music like why did you choose this particular line in a song like why did you decide to do this like i have so many questions for artists and unfortunately most of the time when i do get to interview them i'm never allowed to ask my own questions i would really love it if i'm either able to have a show on something television wise or even a segment on my youtube channel where i'm able to interview artists i have already got so many questions for so many different artists so i did that um i started off on my channel um in the beginning of 2017 as encouraged by you guys and then for a while it looked like it might have been going somewhere with somebody else and that didn't happen and then i decided to start it up again back at the end of this year 
um, and I did an episode with Dodie and Hayley Steinfeld. I definitely have some people in mind for the next episode, but if anybody has anyone in mind that I guess maybe is somebody that makes videos and is also a musician, great, or just flat out just like a music artist, fantastic. Obviously up and coming because I'm like, you know, not gonna be rolling in the artist as of yet, so. Get better at home demoing and producing. I'm really, really fortunate that I have a lot of friends that do like this sort of thing and have given me tips along the way. I want you to find out some things for yourself. Hopefully you've gotten better at making covers and demos for going into like the studio with later on. This would just be really, really beneficial to your writing process and how you create music. That's something that I've gotten much better at, um, but it's something that I'm hoping to improve in 2019 um i feel now that i am full-time working on music that is something that i'm going to do naturally um but i'm definitely gonna make more of an effort to do so but yeah i have come so far and i can do quite a bit quite a bit as time goes on i want to get like more comfortable not doing so much like little technical things but more like creatively be able to like flourish with production not just like be able to do things like comping and putting samples together and stuff like that you know like I want to get like more advanced of that kind of thing. Finally and most importantly I really really hope you're happy. Your mental health has been up and down. You recently bought this thing called the five minute journal. It'd be really cool if you could get into meditation, maybe read some books about life. Like I really want you to focus on being the best person that you can be and also the happiest person you can be. You have so much to be thankful for. You're incredibly lucky to be blessed with such amazing family and friends and being able to get to do what you want to do in your life. Anyway guys thank you so much for Watching this video you should get a response to that in two years and otherwise i will see you in the next video which will probably be like next week okay probably the happiest that i have been in years it's been really hard to get to this place um because obviously i've had to sacrifice a lot youtube is a lot more like financially forgiving than being a music artist believe it or not I prefer writing music to making videos and i'm really enjoying the process and I'm looking forward to getting better and becoming a better songwriter and potentially producer, maybe one day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. My next video will be the 25 year old me, which I'm working on the list now. And uh, hopefully that'll be up in the next week or a couple of weeks, we'll find out. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for always being so, so supportive. I really, really appreciate it. If you wanna check out the things that I've been working on for the last two years, um, you can check out uh, my Ludley EP below. Um, it came out in November. Exciting. Uh, you can stream it on Spotify or Apple Music or if you want to support me further you can buy the EP which means I get a little bit more dollar which would be nice for my bank account. Oh yeah. Um, and also you can check out my Patreon. On Patreon I release a demo every month. Thank you guys so much. I love you. See you soon.